Hello, my name is Ken Firestone. I provide consultative and marketing support to Zohar African Safaris. Zohar is based in Arusha, Tanzania, which is the gateway to the Serengeti. We also provide safaris throughout East Africa with tour operators set up in each of the countries. I prepared this video to directly interact with travel agents and agencies so they have a, a sense of what Zohar provides. Zohar is a niche-oriented safari company that does not just do the conventional wildlife viewing, but mixes its itineraries with a diverse range of activities for people who want immersion in the African book. Safaris are custom designed and we take into account the interest of the people who go with us. We also focus on small groups that would be couples, families, and friends who would like to travel together. The Zohar story began some years ago when I was volunteering in Kenya at the southern end with the Maasai tribe. I took a weekend going south into Arusha, Tanzania, went into the Serengeti. I found that whereas the first day I was taking lots of pictures of the magnificent animals, after about the third day it kind of wore off and I felt I needed something else that was fabulous to see. My safari guide picked up on that and decided to visit the Hadzabi tribesmen near Lake Iyasi, near the Serengeti. I had a fabulous experience, went hunting with them and I came back feeling like I really had been refreshed and then was ready for the next wildlife viewing the next day. I also discovered during that safari that by rotating to different kinds of activities almost on a daily basis keeps and sustains the attention and the engagement of the visitor. Unique features of Zohar include the diversity of visiting indigenous cultures who live in remote areas of the Serengeti. These visits are unchoreographed but organized, but allowing for spontaneous interaction between the guest and the host. They would participate in the daily way of life of the people. When we get there, we just do whatever the community happens to be doing at that time. We have recreational activities that, once again, get people out of the Jeep and testing their limits to the extent they want to by either participating in walking safaris, climbing into canyons, into waterfalls, um, biking through African villages, and other kinds of ways that they can stretch and move around. And of course, the other part that goes on continuously throughout the safari is viewing animal wildlife. These activities provide ample stimulation for the mind to understand peoples who they've never seen before by doing physical activities so that they get to stretch and move around and emotional stimulation through the overall aesthetic of the African bush. I would like to introduce the rest of the Zohar team. The owner of Zohar is Lily Maximilian. Lily is an African woman who is a college graduate and 
having a woman owner of a safari company is rather novel in and of itself. I would also like to introduce Sammy Sakombi. Sammy is our primary safari guide. Sammy has been a National Geographic guide who helps when they do documentaries and photo shoots throughout East Africa. Sammy is one of the most enjoyable, humorous, and knowledgeable guides in Tanzania. To his colleagues, they refer to him as Buana Tembo, which means Mr. Elephant, because Sammy spent years working with elephant conservation in Tarangiri National Park. He is engaging and he is multi-talented and he brings all of this to the Jeep when everyone is together throughout the time that they're on safari. Through my work with Zohar, my, I have an objective that goes beyond the safari itself. My consultative relationship came as a result of realizing that the tourist industry in East Africa is dominated by Western-owned companies. Having volunteered there and seen the immensity of poverty and the various uh, maladies in African life, illiteracy, illness, and so forth, I felt that economic development was a better kind of relationship for a Westerner to be involved in in East Africa than volunteering alone or just giving aid. My idea was, especially after volunteering, it would be better to give a person in need a fishing rod than just giving them fish. So my relationship has been helping them compete on a more even playing field with their competitors who are Western-owned companies that, that dominate the lucrative tourism industry in East Africa. They need a bridge. They need to better understand technologies, how to market themselves less expensively than they've been doing it, and a basic understanding of watching a business from its inception to execution which they have not had the opportunity to do. I would now like to have you meet Lily and Sammy and see the kinds of things that we do while our clients are on safari with Zohar. <laughs>